We'll try this out for a bit. I don't know if it'll work for a stream, but it's a game I've been playing recently, and um, I can show you it. I think it's really cool, and I think it deserved more players than it got. It's one of those, like, do you ever see that when you see a, uh, like, an indie game that you really like, but no one else cares about? Makes me sad. So we'll just do a standard campaign. Uh, who shall we be? We can be uh, this guy who's, like, standard god of standard fighters. Nothing too tricky here. You know, you get, get guys with axes and all that stuff. Um, we've got this lady who has lots of animals. Animals and spirits working together. We've got this lad who's got, like, undead boys. And we've got this guy who's got bandits and um, rogues. Hmm. What do you think? What do we want to see? Druid, bandit, druid, undead, blue man, <laughs> necroboy. Uh, poll time. Should we just <laughs> poll after poll after poll? Which one did I play last? I played this blue boy last, so I probably don't want to play him again. Um, that's what I was playing last week. So no, no blue bandits. Undead. Undead is pretty cool. Should we be, should we be deadites? Perun. He's like Slavic Thor, right? If my uh, don't show tips, I don't need your tips. Um, yeah, lots of people said undead. That's fine. So this is the moon is the end game. Difficulty six, beat that, win the game. Um, but we will lose if we do that because uh, our deck is shit. So we are allowed to do nine other scenarios before we try that one. And the harder the scenario, the greater the rewards. So if we try this little difficulty one, it'll be really easy. But um, we won't get very much payout either. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for like a level three star. Which is actually going to be really hard, but gives us way more stuff. Um, let's have a look at the, the tree. We've only got five worshippers. That's the money we spend. Um, so actually, we, we can only get one thing. We get this skelly boy, skelly boy with chain spear. I think we should. Uh, change deck. And so this is our deck, tier one. And then when we cast a spell, this one here, when we play this card, that unlocks stage two. And then when we play this one, that unlocks stage three. So for most of the game, we're going to be running stage one. Halfway through, we'll get to stage two. And then near the end, we'll get to tier three. So we've got to like build our deck appropriately. Now, we've only really got basic units apart from this guy. He's our one cool guy. So I'm going to get rid of the axe man. I'm going to stick in a couple of, couple of cool boys. Um, that might be it. Oh, we're going to need more shrines as well. Because uh, undead, you need like mana. So let's stick a couple of shrines in for them. And then I think we're good to go. So I'll explain it as we go. All will become clear. This isn't RimWorld. Correct. This isn't RimWorld didn't work. So I'm going to show off this deck building game instead. That's my plan. Um, so here's our settler. Super easy. Make a town. You see up here, we got dots. We got we started with four dots. We've only got three dots left now. These are our actions in a turn. When we take when we use up all of those actions, our turn ends. So we've got to be careful. We've got some scouts. I'm going to send, I'm going to detach them into two separate groups. And these dotted lines are the region. You can only have one town per region. So we'll run off to scout out this region over here. Um, and then we can click on our town to draw a new card. And I'm going to pick a lumber mill. And that's all we can do this turn. So we've got resources. We've got one food, one hammer, one gold, one faith. And um, that's not enough to build anything, which is rubbish. So I'm going to ditch this card to turn it into a food. Then spend that food on a settler. Drop him here and then settle him into a town. So hopefully now we'll start getting a bit more. And we'll move out to the next territory. Oh, fucking hell. First rock. So the idea here is we've got 20 turns until a massive army is going to attack us and destroy all of our territory. 
So we need to build a really strong army in the next 20 turns to fight that. But we also have these side objectives that give us VPs. If we get to 36 VPs, we win the game. But usually that means killing the army. Um, so we need to get four towns by turn in 15 turns. And we need to explore four spooky places in 18 turns. Um, let me just check the options here. Let's get an auto in turn going. Um, it is a lot like Thea. That is right. It's not made by the same devs, but I think it's based on the same kind of like Slavic mythology as Thea, which is why it feels really similar. Uh, right, we're going to need... Take the food. Take the man. Build the man. And then... Should we go fight that army? I don't know if we can beat him. So I don't think we will. Let's um, let's scout out this ruin and get two extra food. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Um, right. So we'll take... Drawing cards is using up actions, you see. So I've just spent two actions drawing cards. I've only got two actions left. I'm going to build a lumber mill next to these trees because that'll give me an extra hammer every turn. And then I can build my farm with my extra hammer. Um, let's get scouting. We really need to draw another settler, though. That's my problem right now. I'll right, we'll play another farm. Uh, there's a settler. Perfect. Okay, we'll build him next turn. We're going to need more mans, though, to fight that warrior. Is there music? Yeah, do you want me to turn it up for that? Diddy David, thank you for subscribing. So Ben, just passed to say hi. I'm on my break, and I'll catch up with a vodka bow. Oh, thank you very much, Diddy David. Good luck today. Have fun. I'll catch you later. Um, right, so... We've only got one action left this turn. So I guess we'll just go pick up some more loot from the robbed caravan, get some food. We need four food to drop this settler in. So we'll use the farm for one action. We'll drop the settler for another one. We'll settle him, leaving us with one action. Um, we do need more troops now. That, that ain't more troops. We're getting quite close to this objective, though. One more town, and we're, we're good to go. Uh, Settler, very good. Uh, another shrine. We can build a shrine. That'll make it easier, because we've got this card here. Once we get four faith, we use this card to go into tier two, and then we start getting our better cards. So that's like teching up, basically. Uh, let's use a t gain two food card to build... Settlers get more expensive every time you use them. So now they cost two at the beginning. Now they cost six. But we're doing good. We got the four regions before the timer ran out. We've gone for a bit of a fast expand here. But now I'm, I haven't seen any attacking armies yet. So I'm actually a bit spooked. And I'm pretty sure there's an army's going to come out of nowhere any minute. Uh, and we do not have any troops at all. Well, we've got an archer. That's good. Build an archer. Uh, we can probably take this nerd on now. Now we've got an archer. Um, let's get another shrine down. Use the shrine. Go into tier two. Any good cards now? House. House is really good, actually. Costs four hammers, but get an extra action each turn. So now we'll have five goes every turn instead of four. That's actually really good. There are barbarians. We've been quite lucky not to see any yet, apart from this guy. But he's not attacking, so he's actually pretty chill. That's why I'm not moving off to explore with my main army. I'm, I'm expecting someone to come out of the fog any minute. Uh, oh, there's tech level three. We could rush up to tech level three next turn. Oh, there's my boy. Skelly boy's here. Uh, an army's going to spawn here in three days. Right over here. 
Should we go kill a boar? We can kill a boar. I'll be fine. Oh! Okay, they're guarding. They're attacking. And they're guarding. Okay, we'll kill this boar. This guy will attack us. We'll see how it goes. Um... I want my Skelly Man, so I'm going to use the shrine to get an extra faith. Cast Skelly Man. And... We've not got any build locations left. So these sites, we can explore them and fight them, because they're using up build spots. Each town can only have two buildings on it, right? So we've already got the Lumber Mill and the farm on our starting territory. This territory's got the shrine, but the enemy camp is using up a slot. This one's got the house, but this cave's using up a slot. So if we can start clearing these enemy camps, we'll make more room for our own buildings. Take a shaman, sure. Come on then, skelly man. I'm gonna stick the sh scout down first. So this is another action point system. We get two actions. Um, skelly man down. So the boar's got a special ability. When it redeploys, it gets a free attack. Let me explain the combat entirely, actually, right? So this first number is their attack. Second number's armor. Third number's health. When you attack, you deal your damage. The armor takes it away. So if I hit this boar, it will absorb two of the damage um, and then lose health. So if I hit him with the skelly man, he's going to do three damage. Only one's going to get through the armor. But then after the attack's completed, you lose one point of armor. So if I hit him with skelly man, he'll do one health point, one armor point, and then next turn, he'll do two damage to the health, one to the armor, and then the turn after that, there'll be no armor left, and he'll do all three damage. So, um, we're going to do that. We're going to stab him with Skelly Man. Now, my scout's got a special ability. When he leaves the battle, he gives me three extra actions. So he's, he's survived his reconnaissance, he's reported back, and now I can just, like, deploy my other guys. Give him some stabs. Now, I'm going to basically let the archer kill everything, because the archer turns into an absolute badass when he's level two. So we'll let him kill Steel. Get him leveled up. Fucking um, our bandit leader. You are quite the badass, sir. So yeah, ten health, three armor. It's gonna hurt. That's right. Scout's here to give us extra goes. Um, and we'll just wear his armor down. Because you have to attack the first thing in the army. So by attacking with my back guys first, he's then just going to knock... When you attack, you get hit back. So that's why I didn't attack with my front guy, because I didn't want him to take an extra hit. And now we need to do five damage, so yeah, we'll just stab him with Skelly Man. He'll take a hit, and then the archer will finish him off. Getting the kill steal and leveling up. Perfect. So now we're at combat 42. We should probably start mopping up all these barbarians. Uh, but we're going to stick a shaman in there. Keep growing the army as much as we can. Um, we'll go over here. Well, oh, flipping hell. Okay. Uh, ooh, take a sword. Don't mind if I do? And a time rewind, sure. Uh, the archer's range, I will use it. Every time you use a special ability, it uses up some of your resources. So the reason I didn't shoot the archer's arrows was because it uses up a tool. And I thought I might need them in my next turn. I didn't want to waste them. Uh, but now, I know I'm not going to use tools this turn, and we can start opening up. We will um, drop this guy, flee, this guy. Oh no! Oh, fuck. I misclicked. Our scout's dead. Whoopsie! Okay, well, we'll fire some arrows. He shoots twice, now he's leveled up. He gets two volleys off, which is huge, because that strips two armor off immediately, even if you're not doing any damage. And the other nice thing about um, ranged attacks is, right, they always hit um, the guy at the back. So this guy at the front, he's really healthy, but let's just shoot that nerd at the back. Pew, pew, pew. And then Skelly Man can finish him off. With his chain attack. 
Um, so we'll let the wizard can take a hit, and then Skelly Man can finish him off. Perfect. A bit annoying, I lost the scout. Now this guy's got a really strong bow. So I've got to be careful about who stands at the back. So I'll have Tanky Boy up front with the high armor. And then I guess Tanky... No, we'll have the healer in the middle. He'll take a hit. And then Skelly Man will go to take the next hit. And we'll just give him some ranged attacks. You just got to juggle the damage around so that... Like the front man, he can take two more hits before he dies. First hit will get him down to one health. Second hit will finish him off. Because four attacks are really high. So we've just got to juggle that damage around. Like if we attack with this guy first, he'll tank that first hit. And then... Shoots that guy. And then who wants to get the killing blow? It's worth three XP. Get him with this guy. So just going to make sure no one dies and everyone levels. And, it, and then we'll be okay. So now we need eight food to get our next settler down. We've only got four. So we need to generate four food. So we've got all these rations we've found. Just eat two of those. Stick a settler down. Boom. Get settled, dickheads. Did he grow a mustache when he leveled up? Yes, he did. He's a badass now. And badasses have mustaches. Okay? Let's clear out these camps. And then we can build more buildings here. Look at him. He's got a fucking banging mustache now. He's also got braids. Oh yeah, dwarves push you backwards, which is super annoying. Um, six damage to kill him. How much XP is he worth? Two. Okay, well, well, we'll give him to Skelly Man. Am I having a good day? I am having a good day. Playing, playing games. Ooh, we've got an undead giant. Undead giant attacks immediately after someone else dies in a battle. That's pretty cool. There's a build you can do where you just have a horde of peasants, right? And when a peasant dies, another peasant from your hand is immediately played. If, as long as you've got peasants in your hand, you can endlessly chuck them in. And then every time that happens, this guy gets a free attack. So you give him loads of like attacking upgrades, and then he gets to like chain kill, hiding behind a wall of peasants that just get murdered. He's great for that. We could go for a build like that. Um, yeah, the high-end cards have all got cool abilities that you can like combo your deck towards. This scenario, we're right at the start of the campaign, so we haven't got any like super cool cards, but we'll work out a fun build. Meanwhile, an undead samurai is coming for us. And all we've got is a scout there to speed bump him. Um, shit. Well, come home, army. Well, we can use herbology to move again. That'll be good. Go again. Run. Um, stick a sword on the guy with the sword. Give him plus one attack. Why not? Stick a farm down. And um, that'll do, I reckon. We're going to re-dead him. We're going to un un undead him. What does this guy do? Oh, he's just just got brilliant stats. No specials. Um, okay. Look, we've got four attack now. We, oh, I spent most of my hammers. We've only got enough for one arrow. I'm going to have to watch out for that. Re-unalive him. <laughs> exactly. That's the easiest way to explain that. For sure. Well, we'll shoot off our only arrows. Get him right down. Um, and then we'll get the wizard ready to heal. Or we get fucking axed. Um, oh shit, he's still going to die. Okay, we'll get him out of there. Drop this guy down. God, that heavy infantry is really fucking tough. Uh, I think we can... Can we get rid of that guy at the back? 
No, his shield is protecting him from ranged attacks. Oh no, we're gonna lose Skelly! Skelly, no! Fuck. Okay, just stab him. Um. Didn't bring enough arrows. Uh, let's level up. My swift bit of murder. And, um, rip, skelly boy. Okay, we'll just give this one up immediately. Undead samurai is going to murder my scout. There's not a lot I can do about that. Our many bus, thank you for the bits. And say, hey, Ben and chat, I managed to slice up most of my fingers at work the other day. But luckily, I am just finished painting some little men last week. Would you like to see? I would always like to see your little tiny toys. Sorry about your fingers. Fucking hell. Hope, hope they heal up soon. That is a bad thing to injure. Do you think we can get Gigante out? It costs nine food. We've got six. Oh, yeah, look. We'll just eat that double food. Use this farm. Get a big boy. Go teach that samurai a, les a lesson. Um, big boy. He's not got much armor on though. He's actually gonna not last very long. I'm gonna use him as a punching bag for a couple of turns. See how we get on. I can heal him. Oh no. I did the wrong thing. Didn't heal him. Let's heal him up. Let's just keep Big Lad going. Heal him for four. Um, uh, oh yeah, now we can kill him. Perfect. Big boy. Um, hmm. One more action. Take another Herbology. Sure. Right, two more faith and we can go into tech level three. So we'll use a faith and a faith. Tech level three. Ah, oh, regular Gigante. But actually, I'm going to take the house. And the goods. I'm investing. Getting a house down. Uh, use the tools. Now I'm going to get six actions per turn. That's action economy right there. Um, now, Gigante. Skelly Man. Return of Skelly Man. Oh, okay. We got new, new archers coming on in. Let's run, 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 run. Get those filthy barbs. Oh, shit. Okay, I've completely fucked one of my secondary objectives because I've not been paying attention to it. That's my bad. Uh, I'm going to buy a fancy, fancy leather armor for my front line boy. And... That's basically all we can do. Oh, another settler. No, sword. Take the sword. All right, can we reach him this turn? Yeah, we can. Get out of here, skelly boy. Oh, God, there's two of them. Okay. Uh, tanky boy. Can we hold? I think we can. We will start shooting arrows. Just stripping their armor off. Two shots is two armor removed. That's always a good start to a combat. Um, in fact, yeah, he doesn't have a shield, so archers are going to do three damage apiece. His armor's gone. Yeah, we can just shoot that guy down now. Level two archers are kind of OP. Um, we'll get the healing man down. More arrows to strip that armor off. Um... And then we'll wait for the counter-attack. And then we'll finish him off with wizard. Wizard ding? No. Wizard didn't ding. Boo. 
Um, can we get... Oh, yeah. I'll take the gold to get the sword to give to Gigante. Gigante got a sword now. Get another sword. Why not? Get another settler. Don't know if I'm going to be able to afford it, but I'll take it. God, we're getting swarmed now. Uh, do my armies fully recover? No, they get a heal after a battle. It doesn't fully recover. Their armor comes back to full every time, but the health regens over time. It can take two or three turns to get all your health back. Another reason why the Shaman's good, because he can heal you in battle. So we need five more food to get the giant down. Two, three, four, five. So we could... Yeah, let's just take food from our towns for our actions. Then food from the farm. Yeah, having these two extra actions a turn is actually really paying off. You can just convert those actions directly into um, resources. How long till an army comes out of here? One day. Oh, no. Okay, we'll walk over here so we're hot, as close as we can be. What do the deserters do? Attacks after one of your bandits falls back. So every time one of his other people's retreats, he gets a free swing. These guys get to attack the guy at the back. Um, Gigante. Gigante. I choose you. Yeah, you don't want to attack the guy at the back, friend. He'll thump you. Um, this is why I've chosen for this loadout. Normally you put your soft archers at the back and then the raiders get in your back and eat them. Not today. Let's just give them double, double G, the double Gs. Okay, now they're getting hairy. So we'll drop in the healer, give them a heal. And then, um, fucking kill him. Or just kill him. Boom. Um, bam. The Forsaken Giant is considerably smaller than the regular giant, isn't he? Oh, I missed it. Whoops. Chomp. Hair equals power. <laughs> it kind of does in this game, doesn't it? Kind of does. All right, that new spawn up there. We've got to go knock out that stone circle to stop him spawning. We'll have to use the herbology to get another go. Get in there. Um, big boy. Oof. Okay, get another big lad in there. Double bowman? Boo. Let's um, heal these boys up a bit. Uh, he was forsaken for being too small. <gasps> oh, I didn't think they could kill him. I miscounted. Rip shaman. Oh, flipping heck. Um... All right, well, I don't think we're going to lose this one. But did not need to lose that Shaman. That is a problem because now we're, we've are we gone one step back for beating the final boss. You know, our army is now smaller. Like, the, the cursed army will come in with... Oh, fucking hell. It's way harder to play this while streaming. I'm just not checking my numbers before attacking. <laughs> Shit. Okay, that battle might have actually ca caused us to um, to not be able to finish this scenario now. Losing two strong units like that. Fucking oof. Alright, we're doubling down on archers. That's how we're going to make up for it. Um, and another giant. And another herbology. Get in there and smash these stone circles. Stop them spawning new fucking monsters on us. Um, do 
don't have a lot of ranged here. We're going to have to train up this guy. The level one archer needs to hit ding quick. Um... Let's just start getting arrows down range. What are my predictions for the Las Vegas Open? Oh, the Games Workshop's reveals. When are they? Are they this weekend? Hmm. Well, I think we'll get... It's pretty obvious we're going to get um, Arbite kill team models. I don't think anyone will be surprised. Oh, oh. That was meant to be the archer's kill. Shit. Okay. Let's soften him up with this guy. 6 a.m. in the morning. Okay. Yeah, so we'll definitely get some arbites for kill team. Um, I don't really know what else is, is coming up. I haven't been paying that much attention. Maybe a Tau? We haven't had a towel for a while. Some kind of battle suit character. Hey, there we go. Double archers. Oh, we also found a sword. Plus one strength when attacking. After a kill, heal your board. Oh, that's pretty good. Have we got someone without a sword? No, both of them have got a sword. We can give it to him. Give it to Skelly Boy. It'll basically be all those things they showed silhouettes of, right? Um, in the last, like, teaser video. That feels like where we're going. We can replace that stone circle with a farm, can't we? Oh, no, we haven't got a... Shit. We don't actually have a settler there. Whoops. Oh, shit. So now I've got nowhere to build this farm. Oh, no. I'm not going to be able to get enough food together. Unless this is a three food. It's a two food. It's so close. Uh, bum, 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 bum. All right, new turn. Let's get some food. Get some food in here. Uh, one more food. Drop a settler in. Shit, here comes the Forsaken army. Right, this is the end boss army for this scenario. We've got 121 combat strength. They're going to burn down a couple of towns before I can stop them. Uh, the undo three. You get three undos per scenario. So I should have... Every time I've done a stupid misclick, I should have used that. I kind of forgot it was there. Uh, increased build limit. That means um, you can only build two... Two buildings per territory. Uh, but if you build this house, then you can build three. But you still need a slot to put this building in. Um, shit, shit, shit. Okay, what's he got? He's got a big goat man. There's a beast man here who attacks immediately after you deploy an animal. When he deploys, he gains one armor. And when he attacks, he attacks at minus one strength, but he attacks twice. Okay, they've got double attacking guy who attacks for free when you deploy an animal. He, he's a problem. Uh, we've got the invader, who counts as an animal, and hits two targets when he attacks. Ooh, okay. Uh, we've got this guy, fall back to gain an action and heal all your animals for four. Counts as an animal. Fuck now. We've got this guy, who can't counterattack but has five attack and counts as an animal. Ooh. Three. And then lastly, we've got the Tresser. Fall back this turn, your animals attack an extra time. Ooh. Okay. So every time one of these guys deploys, this guy attacks twice. And when this guy runs away, everyone attacks an extra time. Okay, the furries. This is this is furry revenge for Rimworld earlier, isn't it? Oh my god. Yeah, I, starting three out of six was a mistake. I underestimated how much more mistakes I would make while streaming as opposed to playing on my own. 
It's all right. We can do this. What we need is fodder for our Forsaken Giant. We just need a bunch of guys who can die, and the Forsaken Giant will attack multiple times when they die. So we'll just get this plebe footman out. Um, we'll get another plebe footman for next turn. We'll get some gold. And some gold. And then we'll spend that gold. Um, no. Not worth it. Okay. Come over here. Right. Every time he hits a town, it's just immediately destroyed. So we haven't got that much time now. Um, good. Let's do good. Um, so now we can get another pleb out. Um, we can attack this town. Double stab. Pretty good. Let's get him. And then attack. Just go up to the merc... Hire some of the mercenaries and then attack the survivors. I think that sounds pretty fair. Uh, those guys are both max level, so we shouldn't let them get any kills. We'll get Skelly Man out, start farming XP. Ow, quit it. Um, give him a stab. Right. Murder. Um. Mm. Okay, so we can soften him up. Just need to get make sure Skelly Man gets the kill. Leveled up. We might be doomed. Do I want to level up the bowmen? Oh, our bowmen are already leveled up, aren't they? Yeah, hitting level three isn't actually super good for the bowmen. Level two is where the, the big improvement is. Uh, it's going to be tough. I'm not going to lie. Um, but I think we can do this. We can get this big, big lad out. So we've got a lot of stuff, but none of it synergizes well. We don't have any combos. We just have meat. We've got lots and lots of meat. Um, and it's going to have to be enough because we're kind of out of time now. Um, I mean, he's going to go for this, I think. Um, let's get some gold. Get ourselves a guy. Uh, yeah, there he goes. Okay. If we kill this army, we'll have enough victory points to win the game, I think. We need 12. And we get 16 for wiping it out. Okay, so this is an insta win if we win this fight. Is anyone still wounded? No, they're all healed up. We've got no chance of getting the 6 gold for that sword. Or no chance of getting the 11 food for the giant. So I think we just go for it. We might get the 6 gold if we're lucky. Yeah, okay, we can do the 6 gold. Let's put the sword in before we go to that guy. Right, here we go. Wave Assault for the win, which is, I mean, he's pretty good at murdering people, so um, I should be fine. I'm worried about having no healing, I have to admit. Uh... 
big shield boy up front. He hasn't even put his giant down yet. Um, I'm spooked. Not gonna lie. I am a bit spooked. Let's see how this goes. Goat man! Fuck you, goat man! Your millions of attacks. Oh, gross, gross! Did you see how many attacks he just did? Shoot arrows at him. That's how we beat this guy. Um. Goat man is goat. <laughs> it's true. Well, you kill my guy, I get a free swing. Those are the rules. Uh. Let's get some more meat down, I guess, and keep shooting arrows at Goatman. Just form a shield wall, an angry giant will revenge. We've nearly killed Goatman, you know. Just having the arrow. Oh, we're out of. We're literally out of arrows. Oh. Feels fucking bad, man. Okay, get out of there, Archer. We'll bring in Skelly Man, who can just chain swing from range. Um, if someone dies, does that card stay in your deck? Uh, when you play a card, it's it goes back into your deck, but increases in cost. So if that guy dies, the card still is in your deck, but will cost more because you have already played it. Go man retreats. Um, okay, well this guy's only got two health left. You can fuck him up for sure. Get out of here. Oh shit, he attacks for free after any unit dies, not just mine. <gasps> Forsaken Giant! You're the best! Okay, you, you are fucked now. Your goat man's too scared to attack. Which is what we wanted. Um, skilly boy. Followed by Gigante. Poof, they all heal. Goatman attack. Goatman fucking dies. Free attack, baby. Didn't trigger. Oh no, there it did. Just lagged. Oof. Okay, we've done it. We've fucking done it. Doesn't really matter who gets the kills now. Get the heal. Free attack. Oh man, that Forsaken Giant saved our ass. And it wasn't just, like, I didn't even have that card. That's a card I got for free for, like, as a quest reward. That's not even part of my deck. Whew. Not even the misplays can stop me. <laughs> it's true. So now these are two cards I can add to my deck. Um, which are, these cards are actually outside of my, what I can normally buy. These are, like, out of my class. So, they're pretty good. A potion of speed attacks immediately after deploying. That can combo up really well with certain units. Um, Spearman's not bad, always counterattacks. The warrior's really good because he deals two armor damage, which is massive. I don't get to keep the Forsaken Giant, but he I think he is part of my upgrade tree, so I think I can unlock him. Preparation's good too. Spend one action to get three actions next turn. It's very efficient. Uh, I don't know if this combo... I don't know if any of the things I can buy have good, like, rally abilities. Uh, I will take the warrior, because the warrior is really good. I'll take this in case I've got something I can get with it. Okay. So now I've got 20 bucks to spend. So it's five for the top row, ten for the next, fifteen, and then twenty. Um, so I can buy the, the Dingus Man, the Dong Giant, Witches, Wraiths, loads of upgrades, Baba Yaga, Undead Swordman, Undead Shield Man. Uh, what are the, I can buy. Get Skelly Samurai. Um, 
Necromancer. Destroy all corpses and gain one faith for each corpse destroyed. That's pretty good, because the undead units cost a lot of faith. So he, like, killing a bunch of stuff will let you then cast a new guy. Samurai Archer, pretty good. What does this guy do? When he falls back, all your un you can reuse all your ancient units. <gasps> wow, okay, because normally your unit can only be used once, obviously. So he lets you like double or triple tap the same guy. Pretty good. And he has guide. Gain one action for every ancient you have on the battlefield. Oh wow, okay, so this guy is um, great utility. Um, and then of course this big, big boy. Uh, attacks the enemy standing at the same distance from the center of the battlefield. So he can snipe people. He's got a lot of armor. Uh, doesn't that work well with the new potion? Yeah, what did the new potion do? Attacks immediately after deploying, doesn't it? Yeah, attacks after deploying. None of my guys do anything great when they deploy. I'm not sure I want him to be doing a lot of attacking. That's not really his job. Um... Why does he get his dick out? <laughs> Remove a corpse to heal for eight. He's pretty good. What does this little nerd do? When this unit dies, your other units gain plus one strength. Can I not have the Forsaken Giant? Is he not... He isn't in my tree. Boo! For second giant so we need to come up with a new build. Are we going to go big on the samurai skellies? Because they seem to combo well. Like this guy powers them all up pretty well. Um, fallback gain in action as well. Getting boots on him is pretty good. Um, or do we go for like the zombie guys? We need units use skills heal. Another unit uses a skill gain one strength. Um, this sets the enemy's attack to one. Pretty good. Heal. What are we thinking? Are we thinking like zombie undead or skelly undead? Team skellies. Skelly weebs. <laughs> okay, we'll go skelly weebs. Sure. I we'll love this guy. Um, these aren't going to be hard to bring up. We've got 10 points left. The well is really good. Drawing a card every turn. That is legit. I'm going to buy the well. Do we want these little nerds? Every time they die, they don't get any more expensive. So you can kind of get them all killed. And just keep, keep resummoning them. And then obviously when they die, it makes it easier to summon in your big boys. The bone bros. <laughs> uh. I don't know. I don't know if it's worth getting loads of guys killed. Feels like it might not be the right move, right? So now we've got to adjust our deck. This potion isn't actually very good for our what we're doing. Uh, we're gonna need shrines. Shrines for days. Do we get rid of the regular footman? Yes. And get rid of time rewind. Uh, get rid of one of the slayers and put in ancient swordsman. He's not actually that much better than regular swordsman. Hmm. We definitely want the well. Um. Hmm. 
What else? He's going to be like our starting unit. Instead of, instead of the swordsman, we'll have the warrior. He's way better. What source did the drowner cost? Um, I think it was Faith. Um, the tricky thing about resources is you generally generate like two or three or four every turn, but it never stacks. So when you want to cast something expensive that costs like eight, you need a way to like very briefly bump yourself up. So that's where the drowners might come in handy. Should we? Let's get the drowner. Because instead of the warrior, we'll take a drowner. And we can get them all killed to summon in our bigger boys at the end. I do need to unlock more bigger boys, though. Um, I think that'll do for now. We'll get rid of the workshop as well, actually. Let's take another sword in. Okay, I think we need to do one more mission. Did we do the ancient synergy? We didn't have enough to, to get them all. We're halfway there. We got some of the ancient stuff. And then after the next scenario, we'll have enough to unlock more. And then it will, then it will all work. Um, did we get... We get some things coming in. Um, did I miss any subs? I don't think I did. Oh, we did get some donations, though. Thank you very much. We got um, Fipsy has donated five bucks. Thank you so much. It says, Hail, biggest gobbo, Ben. Put me into the naming pile for a gobbo or some unfortunate animal to be tamed and eaten. Ah, oh, Fipsy, we'll try and get you in next time. We'll, um, I'll have to take all my save files from home and bring them into the office. Thank you. And Blazing Psycho also donated and says, just dropping by uh, to update on that Sailor Moon mini I was finishing. Um, uh, I think I've converted to the Finish Your Bases camp. Just added more mud. Still anti-grass. That's all right, you don't have to have grass. You just got to have something on your base. And you're good to go. Well done. I think we do another three, three difficulty. Right, so our deck is, it's not massively improved, I have to admit. Um, it's got some of the cool new units in, but none of the synergy for them yet. Um, but we'll get there. After one more mission, I think. Okay, so, can we get an extra food, please? Oh wow, three more food. It's probably too much food. Get our settler down. Um, and our first drowner, why not? Get those boys down. Uh, take another settler, don't mind if I do. And we'll get an archer. And... We can probably beat that Spearman now. Get some early XP on our Archer, why not? Ow. Stab. Not good. Do not let me get this Drowner any XP. His job is not to get XP. His job is to get out of the way. Well, the big boys do all the work. I don't actually have enough tools. I used all of my tools to build the archer and I didn't have any left or any arrows for him. <sighs> um, right, now we need three more food, which we're going to struggle with, to be honest. We need some farms. There's a farm. Okay, good. I was worried. I was very worried we weren't going to have enough farms. Uh, keep exploring. What are we going to do this time? We need to have eight faith before ten turns run out. And we need to explore more of the map before the time runs out. Okay, we can do that. We can take the food. And we can take the food and we can build a town. Boom. Um, shit, we can't build any buildings in this town because there's two things already here. 
But we can, can investigate that cave. That'll get some XP. We'll go f flush out whatever lives in that cave. Oh, enemies are spawning in one day. Bugger, I should have read that first. Okay. Okay. Um, settler. And shrine. It's a witch. Kill the witch. Kill the witch. Uh, when a unit dies, use their skill. Defender doesn't get to counterattack against the wraith. Because it's actually going to be um, a bit of a pain, I think. Shoot it. Shoot it with arrows all day long. Um, kill it with arrows. Hmm. Can we get food? Yes, we can. Use up the rations. To get. Oh, fuck it, Al. Don't you kill my settler. You son of a bitch. Flee. Um. Okay, can we beat this archer? I guess if we get to shoot first, then we probably can. He who shoots first, shoots longest. <laughs> Archer Wars! They are shit! <laughs> Fucking Archer Wars. Um, we're literally out of build slots already. That can't be true. Well, we're out of ones where you can build lumber mills. Okay. Well, we'll build one here then instead. Um, but we better go fuck that cave up before it spawns another army. Um, what's this guy do? Heals animals. Okay. And we don't have any arrows left. So we're going to have to kick this dog to death now. That's what the good guys do, right? Famously... Oh god, we're going to have to give the Drowner some XP. God damn it. We failed. We failed at life. We gave the Drowner an XP. Oh shit, we might lose this battle. He one-shots all of our guys. Whoever attacks him is gonna die. Um, fuck, we're gonna keep the archer alive. So scout attacks and dies. Gets birded in the face, eyes pecked out. Drowner attacks. Fucks him up a bit. Then he attacks the Drowner, kills the Drowner. And then my boy comes out of that cave. Ooh, feeling real sad. Everyone died. Shit. Um, feels bad. That's a feels bad, man. Um, we need to tech up. That's what we need here. We need to start getting better cards. Give me, give me that tech up. Where's that tech up at, yo? Um, why can't I build that? Two planes. Oh fuck! I could have built a farm here if I hadn't put the shrine. Could have put the shrine somewhere else. Okay, I done goofed. Um, 
Can we take this cave out? Yes. Okay, next time we'll go get the cave. Um, I'm kind of fucking this up. I haven't expanded quickly enough. More shrines. Give me the tech up card. Come on. Have we explored enough yet? We need another 11% of the map. Um, there it is, tech up, finally. Okay. Okay, I'm feeling a bit better now. We've got some tech. Ten faith, mission accomplished. Big sword man can join the army. Then we can get healing wizard. Okay, now we're getting an army together. Found a frenzy potion. Um, this is the end game army. Attacks after a bandit falls back. Attacks after a bandit falls back. Commander. Counts as a bandit. Gains an action when it falls back. And when it falls back, my units can't counterattack. Ah, I see. I see what you're doing here. So this commander falls back. He gets three actions. These guys both get free attacks when that happens. And no counterattacks. Uh, when you deploy a bandit, get plus one strength. Fucking hell. They've all got leather armor on for three extra health. Okay. 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 Gonna need some good troops. Um... Hmm... Not sure how this one's gonna go. Oh, shit. I don't think we're going to make it in time. There's too many woods in the way. Drowner. Stop him. Slow him down, Drowner. That's your job. Um... Oh, we need another 7% of the map explored. I don't think we're going to do it. Let's give our sword boy a frenzy potion. Oh, Mahons, thank you for the sub. 35 months. You are old. Congratulations on being an old. It's pretty good. I'm an old too. Oh, God, going through these swamps. It's so slow. Something's gone really wrong this playthrough, you know. I feel like we're not... It's not working properly. Something, Something's happened. Okay, so he's just burned down my town, and if I go to try and stop him, this army's just appeared to fuck me up. And then in five turns, the big boys are coming. Oh, no. Um, we'll use our herbology. Go again. Oh, skelly boy. Stab him good, sir. Um. Lightning bolt. Ow. Ow. Get wrecked. Uh, you can take the bullets this turn. 
Uh, yeah, all good, TJ. Thank you. Uh, for heal. We should probably get more of these guys. Already used that unit. Already used that unit. Yeah, I forgot about this. So, Drowner, please take the bullets. Drowner, bullet sponge, I choose you. Well done. Well done, you really, you really took that bullet for me. Okay, so. Yeah, I forgot. Every time you use a skill, these guys get a free attack. So I need more guys with skills in my army. I don't have many. Um, we need six tools to repair that place. So we can use that for tools. Use that for tools. Get in there, repair it. God, I've only got four turns till the army comes and we are not strong enough to stop it. Um, where has it gone wrong, this game? Didn't fast expand enough, I think. Well, my best guys are level two. <laughs> Sounds like a skill issue. Yep. Yep, 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 Um, just keep shooting arrows, I reckon. When in doubt. Boom. Okay, this is getting us great XP for the final battle. Can't complain about this. Um, let's do a heal. I actually want to give this XP to. Uh, oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. It's because we last time we had the Forsaken. And this time we don't. That's really the difference, isn't it? We got lucky. We got a lucky card. And this time we didn't. Um, let's Hail Mary into tech, tech level three. That doesn't help us at all. Don't need those things. We have to go... We have to go get XP. And then feed Drowners into the oncoming army. That's my new plan. Um, okay, we're going to mop up the Barbarians. And just just speed bump as hard as we can. Um, okay, you, scout, go. Speed bump. Um, We didn't get any houses down, actually. That's a huge part of this. If we'd got some houses built, we'd have had more turns. It's the economy build. We just didn't go economy. Um. Little boy go blue. Stab. Okay, we're pinning a lot of hopes on this big, tough red guy. 
I don't know if he's going to be able to carry the whole game for me, but we are going to try. farming. God, we need another unit, really. Attack! This guy ignores armor. I don't like that. I'm my armor four guy. What does he need? He needs three more XP. This guy gives four XP. So let's fill him full of arrows. Strip, strip that armor off. Uh, oh god, we, we're out of faith. We used up all our faith this turn. We literally can't heal. Oh dear. Um, oh, this could be a massive problem, actually. Shit. Drowner. Drowner, take the hits, please. Thank you, Drowner. Mission accomplished. Um, you take the hit, Archer. And now, Samurai. S Skellyweeb. Oh, now he's wearing black armor. Now you know he means business. Uh, what's your guy's special thing? They get stronger when they get healed. Okay, who is needs, still needs XP? This guy needs XP. This guy needs XP. He's got a power level, our boys, now. Stab. Never stop stabbing. New Vault Hunters video! Nice. Oh, no! Oh, shit. Um... Oh, we can undo. Let's use one of our undos. Oh, we're going to do that first battle again now. Bum. Um, do need the XP. Uh, big boy up front. These guys are worth three, two, and one XP. Okay. Just got to really min-max this. Come on. Hang on, what? Oh, shit, I've got some kind of UI glitch. Arrows. Um. The same flipping thing again, like an absolute idiot. Oh my god. Um, why? Why am I an idiot? Okay, so these guys, this guy gets a free shot when someone else does a ranged attack. So this is super dangerous, and I'm going to have to put this guy at the back to tank all of the ranged attacks. Okay. I understand now. Tanky boy at the back, because they're gonna do volley after volley after volley after volley. Um, okay. Right. Got him dinged. Very good. Now we can have this guy. Okay. I think I got it this time. I think I've stopped being a stupid. Am 
And we can level this guy up. Hurrah! Okay, our guys are almost max level now. Um, I can get another Skellyman. And a sword. Oh, Jesus. They're here! They're fucking here! Our army's not strong enough. Um, too late for the house. Have they healed at least? Not quite. So do, oh, he just gets a billion attacks. That's right. Um, and we're going to fight these guys. Well, with drowners, obviously. And swords. Okay. Here we go. I guess it's now or never. Oh shit, they've actually got it. <laughs> I can't catch them up. Um, shit. Okay, let's slow speed bump them with a drowner. Here we go. Speed bump. Okay, they killed the Drowner. Very good. Okay, we got them this turn. So, we're gonna need more tools. Use my tools for more arrows. We've got two more actions. I don't know if three's gonna be enough. Take two more tools. And... Some faith. And then we attack. We ride at dawn. Here we go. Thank you for the prime captain shoot a lot. I appreciate that. Now, we've got to think. We've got to think carefully. These bandit deserters are going to attack every time a bandit falls back. This guy, when he falls back, he makes everyone not be able to counterattack. So, we need to kill that commander as soon as possible. And we do that with the archer. I think we just have to put, put this guy up first, then this guy. See, the first guy's just going to die. That's fine. Then, Archer, shoot. Weaken up that assassin as much as we can. He's nearly dead. So he's gone, free attack. He hasn't done his commander yet, though. Interesting. Okay. So now... We drop a heal. And more arrows. Uh, thank you, Pedandro Dom, for using your Twitch Prime as well. I appreciate that. That's very cool. And thank you, Lem. I don't think I called that one out earlier. Thank you, Lem, also. Saying, Civ 6 looks weird, man. Good luck. Have, love you all. Thank you, Lems. It is weird, isn't it? It's a much more satisfying combat, though, I have to admit. So I've used him. I've used him. I've got one attack left. I guess I used this guy. Ooh, he's got like a lightsaber. Pretty fun. All right, the commander's here. Uh, here come the 1,000 free attacks. Ow, 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 ow. Okay. I don't think I can kill the commander this turn, but I would like to save my, my tough guy. Let's save him. We'll drop this guy in. 
I'll shoot more arrows. Yeah, he did shuffle my guys around. Not sure how he did that. He must have had an upgrade that I didn't... Oh, my God. He's dead already. He must have had an upgrade that I didn't recognize. Okay, we'll get a drowner to die. And we'll keep firing arrows. Feel free to kill my drowner, sir. You are welcome. Just keep killing drowners. Right, we are now officially out of arrows. But they're out of armor. We've stripped most of their armor down. I think we drop Big Lad. We do a heal. And um, we get a stab in. Okay, we're wearing him down. Weight of numbers is wearing him down. Uh, Shaman can do a ranged attack, pick off that assassin at the back, and kill the beast, kill the beast. I think this is going well. We're about to lose a whole bunch of guys, but so is he. Having the drowners to absorb his hits actually was legit. Just one of the random barbarians is getting me now. Um, Joe Jagger, thank you for the resub. Bon, I'm late. Fill me in with what's going on. We're doing a deck building 4X game where we're trying to make samurai skeletons work, but we don't quite have the synergy yet. But we're getting there. Uh, if we win this, well, I think we're going to win this scenario next turn, and then we're going to improve our deck and go again. Um, we just need to get some combos rolling. That's what we're missing. I think I think we got this though. Stab this guy. Stab this guy. Get out of here. Skellyland belongs to me. We did it. So the out of class cards we can have. Copy every animal in your army? That's no good. We're not doing animals. The invader hits two targets. Invader's very strong. But eight food. We're not really specking into food. We're specking into faith. I don't think we're ever going to be able to afford this guy. Preparation is just a solid economy build. Gives us more actions. The peasant never gets more expensive. And when he dies, deploy another peasant from your hand. So it's an alternate drowner who takes food instead of faith. He doesn't buff your army, but he does wave assault. Really good if we had the Forsaken Giant. Peasant and Forsaken Giant go together so well. But, I mean, we'll take it. And we'll take the preparation. We might not put it in our deck. We'll see how it goes. Right, 20 more points to spend. Um, what were we missing that game? Something good is what we were missing. Hmm. I think we need this Undead Master. He's Captain Synergy. But the Archer's really good too. Set the strength of the defender to one. That's really good. You shoot someone and then you give them one attack. But he costs eight faith. It's pretty good. Um, I like this cheeky, cheeky support lad. He's pretty good. And we're going to get it all eventually. Let's get the support lad. Oh shit, we can't afford it. Oh. Take the work clothes. We'll get him next turn. He's going to cost 15. Okay. So now... What are we going to change? We'll leave the Drowner in. We'll leave the Archer in. The well was good. I mean, this is all good. 
I think we need another Slayer in. Two Slayers and a Shaman feels like a really good build. Because every time he heals, you get two swings with your chains off. Um, so that means getting rid of... We'll get rid of the Giant. We're never going to build him. Get rid of one of these shrines. Put another Slayer in. Um, Sport Lad will actually make a combo, but we just didn't quite have enough points for him. We we'll definitely need the work clothes in for the Shaman, because then using his action doesn't count as a doesn't use a, a point up. You haven't used a single well yet. I did. I built a well right at the start of last game. And it was really good. It just gave me a card every turn. It was like passive economy. I didn't have to do anything. It was just ticking over, giving me a card every turn. It was good. I liked it. You can get rid of herbology and goods. We need better spells. Our spells are shit. We'll put preparation in. Uh, I guess we'll have one herbology. Um... And the work clothes. Shoes won't be useful until we get the master. We'll wait on the shoes. Okay. I'll try that. It's an improvement. I think we need another three, though. Ooh, we can deploy our Settler turn one. That'll be good. Right, fast, expand. I'm into this. Um, get a farm down. And... Get some tools. Okay, then we can... Use those tools to build a well. Um, and then take that guy right. We need it. We need another settler. Ah, oh, there we go. Settler, perfect. Farm. Nope. Nope. No. Settler. Okay. Triple. Triple expand. Can we get another settler? Oh, I'll take the tech up. And we're going to have to build a shrine. Oh, we don't have enough hammers. We need a lumber mill. And we'll chuck him, build the lumber mill. And then next turn, build the shrine. Use the shrine to get Skelly Man. Um, okay, this is actually going pretty well. The Drowner. Use, oh my god, this is rolling. Fourth town. Amazing. And then we're in position to fight. My god. So good. Get the archer out. We could grab this. Wow, 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 wow. Then, yeah, tech, I think. Tech up. Um. What are the missions? Uh, it was build four cities, which we've definitely done, and the other one is get eight faith which we're well on our way to. This is going so smoothly right now. Uh, it's only one XP. It doesn't really matter who gets it, does it? Um, got a little army already going. We just need to make sure we don't take really much damage. 
because we're about to, we're going to fight another guy after fighting this boar. And I don't want to go into that having already taken damage. Well, we'll give it to the archer. He gets real good. What's the well built? Yes, we did build the well. Okay, hopefully we can just wave assault this guy, because he's much better than all of ours. Um, oh yeah, easy. Give him to the archer. That should level us up. Perfect. Oh my god, they're just, they're wave assaulting too. So where do we want to build the next town? I guess over here. We need eight food. Oh. Oh my god, eight food. Easy. Jesus, this is going spooky smoothly. Get a skelly man out already? I think we're just getting like golden drawers. Is that a golem in your army? Yeah, little golem boy's here. He's gonna fuck this guy up. This guy's worth 5 XP. That's pretty good. Pretty damn good. What are we going to hit him with? This guy, I guess. Um, who wants 5 XP? Probably Sword Boy. Ding-a-ding-ding. -ding. Okay, we can just plow straight into this witch's house and start cleaning up, I think. If we clear this, we can build another building here. And then if we can find the, the right tools, we can build a house here, give us an extra action every turn. Which feels pretty early to get that upgrade down. This is just flowing. Flowing so well. All right, I need to not shoot an arrow. That's my plan this battle. If I don't shoot an arrow, we can build the house. I think. Um, boom. Ow, quit it. Yeah, it's not like a lot of other deck builders. It's not like a 4X either. It's a really unique game that I've never played anything quite like it. It's this weird blend of like 4X, worker placement, deck building. Very strange, but really interesting just because it's so different. Oh, there we go. Got the tools. Build the house. Now I get five goes, five actions a turn. And we got 11 turns until the enemy comes as well. Perfect. Let's get another, another skelly man in the army. Just need our healer now. Um, there's the healer. Boom. This is combat strength 87. Can't take that out just yet. What about the tree behind it? 52. Easy. We can do a 52. No problem. Um... Let's build a gold house. Oh, we can't. All our building slots are being used. Okay. Um, yeah, we're like six or seven turns ahead. I agree. Oh, chainmail. Amazing. Robbed, robbed a corpse, found a chainmail. Uh, brilliant. Let's give that to the guy at the front. And um, we can probably give him a sword as well, I guess. Um, OK. 
Can we get that settler out next turn is the next question. Maybe. What do we need? Six food. We can do two with this. So then we'll need four food on three actions. Oh, there's two food. Let's go for it. Two more food. We'll take one from the farm. We'll take one from the house. We'll stick the settler down. Boom. Already a settlement in this region. Oh, shit, I forgot. I forgot that counted as a settlement. We'll build it down here. Um, I need to start clearing out these other buildings. Oh, yeah, Ex extra turns next turn. That's always a good one. Tech up. Yes, please. So build here. Go kill man. Hello, I am well. Thank you very much. I hope you are well too. I think I'm very well actually. I'm enjoying how well this battle is going. Um, I think if I just turn up and fling a chain at him, he'll impale himself on my boy. Boom! Have I seen the new Angron lore about how he's, whenever he's defeated, he will return in nine weeks, one day, and eight hours? Oh, I did not see that. What, is that some kind of like multiple of eight? Why is it? How many days is that? What does that like work out to be? Um. <laughs> oh, okay. It's eight weeks, eight days, and eight hours, but. There's only seven days in a week. <laughs> oh, that's super dumb. Okay. <laughs> I get it. Hmm. Hey, Ben, I bought the Battletech beginner box. A uh, normal box. I'm going to be teaching my father how to play. Oh, that's awesome. Enjoy. Have fun with it, man. Battletech's great because you only need like four miniatures to play. So it's real cheap and it's real easy to get your army painted. Um, it's a good game. It takes a long time. That's the only downside. It's a slow game. Um, but the more you do it, the faster you'll get. Uh, I've kind of just got my hands all clogged up now. Can't, can't get all this stuff out. Ooh, okay, the work clothes on the healer. Now when he heals, he won't use up an action. That's a good upgrade. Um... I want to mop up more of these enemies before we uh, before we get into the battle. So let's give someone a magic sword. That guy. Uh, you won't be painting miniatures as the paint smell makes you queasy. Really? Oh, I've never heard anyone say that before. I don't think acrylic paints smell of anything, do they? Are you using like a different kind of paint that has fumes or something? Uh, we've got one slot left in this army. I don't know what to put in it. Maybe just another Drowner, to be honest. Hmm. Okay, we'll knock down this Witch's Hut. Take the fur coats, and then murder her. They smell of acrylic. <laughs> don't know if that's a smell. Well then, who am I to say? I, I've got a very terrible sense of smell. Uh, who do I want to level up now? Probably this guy. Oh, these guys combo off each other really nicely. Boom. 
So if I heal now, doesn't use up an action, they both skill for free, then this guy skills, and they both skill for free. Oh, if we had the Undead Master now giving me an extra go, that'd be fucking tight. Get out of here, Noon Wraith. Oh shit, I didn't get the fur coat because my hand was full. Dope. Hmm. Shit. Just have to start building stuff to get it out of my hand. Except I can't afford anything. Um. Ah, it went into my deck. Okay, that, that's nice. It didn't get wasted. I like that. So we'll put that on one of the chain guys. Can I get two extra gold? I think I can. Gold, gold, armor. Uh, nope. On that guy? Scouts are good at taking a hit or two, aren't they? He'll be fine. Um, okay, I think we've got a bit of a combo going now. Get chained, get chained. Get chained, get chained. Boom. We're doing it. Um. Yeah, okay. This is actually a combo. This is working. Just get the guys leveled up a little bit more. We should be fine. Uh, just gotta make sure the right people get the right XP. Uh, got four turns till they come. Oh, we found the army. This is what he's got. He's got three golems. Strength value is equal to armor value. And then he's given them plus two armor. Shitting hell. So he's armor nine, which means he's attack nine. Oh, I don't think I have much that that like shreds armor quickly. Oh, fucking hell. Okay. Um, then he's got some smaller ones who are only armor five. I don't have anything that ignores armor or strips armor. Shit. And these guys repair, repair armor after attacking. Okay, it's gone like all... The combo guys will be okay against him because multiple small attacks will strip his armor quickly, but they always attack the guy at the back. And that guy won't be at the back, he'll be at the front. I'm actually a bit worried about that. Hmm... <laughs> okay. He's coming in four turns. Fit one more unit in. We can keep slowing him down with drowners. When in doubt, send more drowners in. And we can start building a second stack. We could wave assault him with multiple stacks. That can work. Let's make a second stack. Um. Is he 
you've got a sword. Yeah, he's got a sword. Give him a sword. Um, just have to hope that it's enough. I don't want to spend too much um, faith because I'll need it for healing. Which is kind of awkward. He hasn't got a sword yet. Give it a go. Who'd you put down first? Because they might just get hit for nine. Um, like if I put my scout down, he might just go. No one else can take the hit. Go, scout. I choose you. <laughs> nine damage. Fuck. Um, drown out and um, poke, poke man splat. Okay, um, fuck no, I think we lose this. The nine damage is just so brutal. Um, splat. I don't even get a chance to heal. Um, Probably kill that blacksmith at the back. That's not much. Oh my god, just puts another golem down. There's so many golems. Oh my god. Um this damage will go down quickly. It won't. Attacks only do one damage to armor. I have to attack him nine times to get rid of that armor. I think I'm better off doing what I'm doing, knocking, knocking people. Oh, they've only got one set of one volley of arrows left. Oof. We'll heal as much as we can. Um. But just hitting him means I take nine damage in my own turn. Just fucking horrendous. Um, in TTT, you often get a res without a weapon. Have you considered adding a traitor weapon that hides a gun on your corpse in case of a res? <laughs> yeah, I, I should do that. That's pretty smart. All right, drown up. Get in the way. Um... Right, now we're fucked. Because I can't take eight damage. Can I do a heal? Yes. Okay, we put the archer in front, because he's less useful now. Finish off that blacksmith. Um...
Ow. 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 Okay, so it's just the big lad left. He's hitting for seven. Oh, he's hitting for six now. We live on one health. Can we just keep chipping at him with ranged attacks? I'll do a heal. Get a free swipe. Then I'll do my own swipe. He's only got three attack left now. I think, I think we're chipping him down. Chipping him down by never attacking in melee, so he never gets to attack back. Well, holy shit. I thought we were, we were gone on that one. Oh man, that was close. That was very close. Whew, kind of surprised we did that one. Yikes. Plus 20, 20 points and fanaticism. Holy moly, this is a great spell. For one faith, select an army. Everyone in that army gets plus one strength for the rest of the turn. So I could do a whole combat at plus one strength. It's brilliant. Just before we go into that final battle, yeah, everyone's got plus one strength now. Brilliant. Taking that. Um, turn your gold into actions. I don't make a lot of gold. Carry your gold over. I don't make a lot of gold. Pike counterattacks twice. That's really good. It's expensive though. Take it anyway. Whew. Right, 20 points. So we can get this little guy. Reuse all your units. Just attack again. The same guys. Very strong. And guide. Gain an action for every ancient on the battlefield. Also pretty good. Skelly boy. And save that five bucks. And um, next time we'll get him. Skelly archer. Oh man. So, how's it going? What do you think? I've, oh, is this a decent game? Is it fun to watch? Shall I play something else? What's the verdict? How far in are we now? What, we've done three missions? Yes, yeah, so we can do six more missions before the final scenario. Very difficult though. Yeah, it is a tough game. I mean, I'm playing it purposefully hard to get more rewards. You can do difficulty one or difficulty two missions that are much easier, but you get way less rewards. You like watching it? I'm glad, I am glad. I was worried that this was a bit of a weird game. It might be hard to get into. So we'll ditch Herbology and we'll put Fanaticism in, because that is amazing. Um, I don't know if we're going to use the pike. Getting six gold is really hard with this build. But we definitely have to put um, this guy, the Kung Fu Master, in. I think we ditch Swordman. The tier two, we keep the tier three Swordman. We ditch the early Swordsman. Swap him for the Master. Um, we have to get these Slayers leveled up early. I wonder if we, if the Archers are too much of a crutch. I wonder if we should ditch the Archer. Focus more on units with skills to get more combo out of the Slayers. He doesn't, the archer doesn't synergize. Um, hmm. Archer's really, really good, but I think he's going to hold us back in the long game. But I don't know what we replace it with. Maybe we put the shaman in earlier because he's cheaper. Um, I 
We could put a bit of tech in the deck. We could get a warrior, since he does two armor damage, if we run into more armor guys. A bit niche, though. Uh... I have no shamans now, don't I? Oh shit, did I take the shaman out? I did, oh, whoops, thank you. I thought I'd taken the master out, not the shaman. I wonder if it's worth going triple slayer. Or more items. Got sword, leather armor, work clothes. We need the work clothes on the shaman. I do want the boots, the booties. Gain an action on fallback. They're really good on the master. Booties. Okay. Um. Okay, build's quite different now. We've removed all the puny mortals. Do we think we're ready for tier four? We would get 10 extra worshippers for completing it. Hmm. Would work clothes on a slayer let them, let them swipe attack and chain each other's swipes to go crazy? Um, is it a skill? Yes, it is. So the problem with skills is you can only use them every other turn. So you have to like alternate them. So we could put work clothes on the slayers as well. So they're not using up an action, but you can, even though you're not using up an action, you still are using up that unit's activation. So you can't do it multiple times. But when this guy falls back, we could put more work clothes in. I mean, they're cheaper, aren't they, than the leather armor and the rusty sword. All right, let's put another set of work clothes in. Um, you wanna try difficulty four? Let's try it. Let's go out with a bang. So, we got our town. Mm, don't really want gold village. What does this one do? Food and tools? Yeah, it's pretty solid, isn't it? Okay, we'll go get the salt. Um, and we'll build the settler. Boom. Right. Got a good early city out. Um, oh, shit. <laughs> we just got our scout killed. Oopsie. Um, take another settler. Undo. We could undo. We only get three undos for the whole mission. I'm okay with losing one scout. No, I'm not. Okay, no, good call. We'll undo it. Um, so build a city. Get ready for the next settler here. Um, we'll take the hammers and build a lumber mill. Then we'll use the lumber mill to build a well. And then... start picking up. Oh, we can build a, our first Slayer straight away. Excellent. Uh, take the Master. God, we are not pulling a... Um, we'll build the Master. We're not pulling another Settler now, though. A bit worrying. But we can go fight a Spearman with this army. Is there a max hand size? There is, yeah, when it fills the screen. Uh, that's when you max out. 
What XP is this guy worth? Two. Okay. We should just, even though our troops are crap, we should be able to just wait of numbers him. I'm going to give it to the Undead Master because I feel like he's not going to get many opportunities for XP because he's a bit of a weenie. Uh, yes, I'll take a farm. Uh, build it here. And build a drowner. We can take out that mercenary camp. Let's do it. Mm, should we buy a guy first? Let's buy a bandit. And a footman. Oh, can't afford it. Alright, kill them all now. I use the W word. Weenie. Don't take weenie away from me, I need it. You can't have my weenie. It's not for you. What does guy do again? Already forgotten what all my guys do. Uh, oh, gain an action for every ancient we have. Okay. Uh, what are you worth? Two XP? Okay, I'll, I'll let the master level up here. Perfect. He's got a nice blue jacket. All right, now we can build an extra thing here. So we'll build a shrine. Cool, so we've got Shrine Farm, Well Lumber Mill. Got all the initial buildings are built. Uh, so I think this turn we just tech up. Tech fast, tech hard. Um, I'm getting another settler out. Oh, we can't build any buildings here because there's two bloody barb camps there. Jeez. All right. Um, let's go clear some, I guess. <laughs> Troll. Oh, jeez, not a basilisk. Fuck. Okay. Um, basilisks ignore armor. They kill you guys so fast. We might have to throw a drowner away on this one. Which I'm okay with, actually. I'm absolutely okay with that. Um, okay, the lineup is ready. Kill my drowner, I dare you. I care nothing for him. Mwahaha. Sounds like I cared a little. <laughs> Don't tell him that. If he knows that I cared, that'll be bad. Okay, we got rid of the basilisk. And leveled up. The troll's gonna fuck up my human, but he's just a puny human. I care nothing for him. Um, this master isn't really doing anything for me until... I can get more of these slayers out. It's kind of awkward. Okay, the stones are cleared. Oh, I need to get this out. I need to build a house. Perfect. Right, now I get five actions a turn. This is where we start rolling. Um, another drowner. Another settler. Um, 
can't build any more buildings. Just have to take what we can get. Oh, shit. Dwarves. Alright. Go beat up some dwarves. Sure. Uh, skill doesn't take up an action. We'll put that on the slayer. Look at the scout. Ready to build next turn. And... Was there no Warhammer? No. Tom and I um, and a whole bunch of us went to do a really cool uh, filming day. And so we didn't have time to come back and do the Warhammer stream, sadly. But we'll be back next week. And in a couple of weeks' time, you'll have a cool new video. Which will be fun. Uh, it was a lot of fun to make. Sadly, it did mean uh, no whammies. Well, that's all right. There wasn't much wasn't much out anywhere, was there? So I don't think we missed out on anything important. Uh. Is that the Yogscast remake of Lord of the Rings? Exactly, yes. We recreated the whole Lord of the Rings trilogy in one day. It was a lot of fun. Bit stressful, but we did it. So, you know, go us. <laughs> Yay. Get another settler down. Oh no, there's already a settlement in this region. Shit. Now we've got to take a long walk. Um, we have to knock that army out to build a settlement there. Tricky. Very tricky. Um... Take another set of work clothes. Sure. I'll take another set of booties. Will I? No, I'll take a settler. Um, shit. I've got nothing to use my last couple of actions on. Um... Bugger. I can paint myself into a bit of a corner there. I literally can't. Oh, yeah, I can use preparation. Give me a couple of actions for next turn. That's not a complete waste. Oh, hello. Um, I really want to get this Slayer down, but I don't have anywhere near enough faith for. Oh, okay. No, no we're doing it. We're doing it. Um, faith. Slayer. Go in between the two armies to fight them both. Then get a gold. Give the other guy work clothes. Okay, yeah, this is looking pretty solid. <laughs> Was it the extended edition or did we laze about and only do the short ones? Yeah, we totally copped out and only did the two and a half hour versions. I'm so sorry. Okay, th we're ready to start trying to like combo, combo attack now. I think so. We can do skill doesn't use up an action. Two th swipes. Skill doesn't use an action. Two swipes. Skill. Ah, oh, we don't have faith. We can't afford his skill with faith. Shit. But if we fall back, I have to wait a turn. Oh, because I only just deployed him. Oh, okay, we're not ready for the combo. It's not quite assembled yet. Um, so we can attack that guy, fall back with the scout, attack with that guy. Then when this guy falls back, that lets us reuse both of these guys again. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, this is working. It's working! Uh. Boom, boom, boom. Never be 
meet your heroes. Oh, he attacks for free every time I deploy someone. So I can't do too many shenanigans here. He'll, he'll hit me. Ow, ow, ow. It's too many hits, sir. Um... Skill? Uh, there we go. Boom. Okay. I need to practice this combo, make sure I get the setup right. This guy has to go down on the first turn, because he can't retreat on the same turn he deploys. So you put him down, you use the skill, skill, skill. Then you use this guy, skill, skill. Then you bring him back. Get two more actions, and you can go again. Uh. Okay. Yep. Uh, no, so yeah, it is a deck building 4x, but the objective is to... Um, oh, he sent my guy back to my hand. Motherfucker. The objective is to um, get a certain number of victory points. Because a big a boss fight comes at the end of the scenario. So you have to build your army strong enough to kill the boss. And if you kill the boss, you get points to spend on improving your deck for the next mission. Uh, I just really need to make sure the right people get the right XP now. So you've got to you've got to deploy the right troops, you've got to upgrade them, and then you've got to get. Um, oh god, this is actually going to be a bit bit trickier. Um, my guys aren't actually that tough. That's like the downside of this build. This guy's got to get out of the way now. And then... 
get the freeze swipes. And then more free swipes. And we deploy the wizard. Finish that guy off. Boom. Actually got another action left, but everyone's activated. So I can't use it. Yeah, this is the problem. The combo has to be adapted. Every enemy is slightly different, and they, I can't just rinse and repeat the same formula. Which I suppose is good. It means I've got to think about every move. I'm not used to that, believe it or not. <laughs> I like to have a pattern I can follow. Boom. Okay, so these guys are veterans now. We can settle here if we can get seven food. I think we can. We've got a farm we can use. And food, deploy, town. Okay, we're doing it, we're doing it. What do we need added to this army? Just a couple of big guys, really. Uh, oh shit, we're gonna fail these side quests. I've gotta get seven faith this turn or I lose. Shit. That's one. Two. What? Okay. Is that right? No, nine faith! Oh! Fuck! I'm gonna have to use an undo. Ugh! Can I get nine faith in one turn? I've gotta get a double. F yeah, there's a double. Okay, I can. That was close. Okay, so the big bad's coming in three turns. I'm going to get 18 victory points for beating it. Yeah, so I'll have just enough points to win if I beat the army. But I don't think three turns is enough to put together a force. Um, I don't have any of my big guys. And even if I get them now, I haven't leveled them up. Fuck. Um, shit, 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 shit. Oh, now there's an army over there. Um, my guy isn't wearing his shoes. Uh, it's true. He, he's wearing his shoes. Look, he's got his shoes he's on. Um, Fuckity fuck, fuck, fuck. All right, let's just throw down another house quickly. Quick house. Um. Oopsie doopsie. Okay, now we're getting the good cards. No, we're not. We're not getting the good cards. Oh, balls. I need my good cards, please. I think we've lost this. Uh, this isn't even the final army. This is just a random bandit. I'm not even able to beat this guy up. Give him a drowner. Fight the drowner, sir. Um, Mm. 
Finally, one of my big lads. Okay, let's take him out. Okay, we've got a speed level now. Oh my god, that army. That fucking army. Look at it. Two crossbowmen. This prick. Oh, this is rough. Okay. Um, stab that crossbowman up. I don't like him. Uh, oh god, I've got no faith because I just bought my big guy. So I can't heal. Okay. Uh, no, it's not sponsored. I just found it randomly. I was just like, I think I was just browsing deck builders or something like that. Yeah, I fucked, I fucked this up because I went into battle with no faith points. Which is a mega problem. Um, ow. Crossbow so strong. Um, let's murder that guy, because he sucks. Then... Go back in my hand. Kill the crossbow guy, because he's a huge threat. Um... Okay, we're going to claw our way through this fight, but the next fight's going to be really tough. No! My boy! My big red boy! Okay, now we're in trouble. This is real bad. Real bad indeed. Get rid of the crossbowman. Ow. Why do you hurt me? Yeah, not being able to heal. It's real bad. Just the worst. Uh, okay, Scout, take the hit for me, please. Okay, now we got him. Now we've got him. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, this is good. Plus one attack and deals an extra armor damage. That's really good. But now we've got... I don't think we can beat the second army now. I think I done goofed losing my skelly man. This might be the final battle. Do -do -do -do. Do -do -do -do. Still don't have any faith points to heal up with. It's going to be rough. It's going to be a rough, rough ride. Um, if we can swipe that boy up. And throw down a scout to take the crossbow bolt. Ooh, he's dead. Oh, shoots twice, does he? Shit. Okay, this is this is over. This massacre's over. Ah, shit. Yeah, I wasn't ready for a difficulty four. I wasn't ready at all. Everybody dies. 
Oh, my skellies. Rip. Well, what good timing. <laughs> it's five to eight. Might be time for my dinner. Oh, oof. I didn't even get to use my fanaticism. That could have... Oh, my God, look. <gasps> the final army was going to wreck me. I was not ready for this one bit. He's got this ridiculous boy here who can't attack, but has an ability to remove all corpses and attack for every corpse he's removed. And he's just this big 20 health boy. Um, whenever this unit does damage, it heals. Whenever it fallbacks, it heals. After it kills, it heals. And then we've got this guy. Whenever anything is healed, get plus one strength. And it does all the heals. And this guy counterattacks twice and heals. Oh my god, so these, these, he's got a whole army of healing guys. And every time they heal, this guy gets stronger? Oh my god. No, this guy gets stronger. Right, these book nerds get extra attack every time someone heals, and everything in the army heals. Ooh. That would have been... That would have been grim. Very grim. Well, there we go. That's my new game I've been playing the last couple of weeks. I'm quite into it. There's a lot of different builds. You've got four different classes to play as, and each class has got three different trees plus the random cards you, you get on top of the, the tree builds. Uh, but it's all right. We can lose this scenario, still carry on with the campaign, just have slightly less stuff. Um, so it is all right. I think we'll, uh, we'll resign that one. We can still do five more scenarios before the final mission, which is enough to, uh, to unlock the cards we want. I think we'll try and get this guy. He seems cool. Um, man, lots of combos. The name of the game is Worshippers. Came out a few years ago. Literally no one's ever heard of it. It's only got 88 Steam reviews. So it's probably sold less than a thousand copies. Um, but I just love how different it is. It's 4x stick building and it's weird. You can make some fun combos. My only complaint of it is, A, it's hard to learn. I didn't it took me a while to figure out how the game actually worked. It's not very obvious. And the only other complaint is that um, the first two or three missions are basically always the same because it takes you two or three missions to buy some fun cards and make a new deck. It'd be nice if uh, you started off with some more, uh, more like points to spend. So you could start with a build straight off the bat. There you go. That's my new new game I've been playing. Hope you enjoyed. Um, what are we going to do next week? I don't know. It's my birthday next week. Can you believe that? Actual birthday. So we can do a fun birthday stream. Doing Ben's birthday things. Is there multiplayer? Sadly not. No multiplayer. Which is fair enough. I think, you know, this might be the only game they've made. They've made two games. So, you know, multiplayer is hard to make. It's a shame this failed. I'm sure they, you know, it would have been nice if it had made a profit and they would have made more games. It would have been nice. But yeah, don't know what I'm going to do for my birthday. But it'll be fun, for sure. We might do the Goblin Town in RimWorld. We might do a painting stream. I just bought a new, a new camera holding thing for painting, which will make it look a lot better. Um, see how I feel. Hopefully I'll get some birthday onions. I don't know if I've been a good enough boy or not, though. We'll see. Fingers crossed. Get my birthday onions. <laughs> Maybe we'll do some birthday XCOM. I'm not sure. Tweet me. Tweet me if you've got some ideas of fun birthday streams. And we'll see, see what we come up with. Board games. Could do some board games. That might be fun. Ooh, yeah. I could try and get Dan. Could do like another game of... Um, Rebellion or something, that might be good. I don't know, loads of options. Um, <laughs> maybe hang out with your friends. I'm, go I'm doing that on the Friday. That'll be my like birthday night out. Do an army in a single sitting. Oh, that doesn't sound like fun. That sounds like I'll die. 
We'll see how I feel. But you know, if you if you've got something you think would be cool, let me know. Uh, we should do a raid. Oh, hang on. Let me just check that I didn't miss anyone's um, anyone's donation because I don't have the proper reader up here and the, the notifications aren't aren't on. Um, we did have one more. Sinwar. Thank you, Sinwar, for the uh, for the donation. I super appreciate that. And you say, Ben, I just wanted to let you know that Pickle Quest is the funniest shit I've ever seen. <laughs> That's a mean joke. How dare you? I'm very offended. But thank you for the donation. I'm glad you enjoyed Pickle Quest. Um, Joe Jagger, did I read yours out? I can't remember. Hopefully I did. But if not, thank you very much, Joe Jagger. Thank you... Um, Everyone, thank you everyone who came. Thanks for everyone who's come and hung out and been cool, followed, subscribed, whatever you've done to support the stream. It's awesome, and I love you. Um, I'm really excited. We're recording some more Vault Hunters tomorrow, actually, and I'm, I'm, I'm hyped. I want to go on there. I've, I've got the bug for like wanting to fiddle with that Minecraft base. I really want to get it going, but we're only allowed to play when we're recording. So um, I'm really looking forward to getting back on that, sorting that base out. Brand new Vault Hunters. The new vaults are way cooler than the old vaults. And I want to do more. I mean, check it out on Duncan's channel. It's really good. We've got a whole bunch of different yogs on there. We've got Hat Films, we've got Ped, we've got Ravs. Loads of people are playing. Who's live right now? What is Boof up to? Boof's playing Elder Scrolls. Ped's playing Dadcraft. Simon's doing stuff with G. Oh, loads of people are streaming. Let's go say hi to Boof. Let's do a Boof raid. Uh, oh, thank you, Super Dan Larkin, for the Prime. Suck it, Ben. Oh, man. You showed me. I've been told. <laughs> Could wait and raid Flax. Is Flax live? I didn't see him on my list. Probably going live in a minute. But I've got to have my dinner. I'm going to go. Uh, awesome. Well, thanks, guys. It's been cool. I've had fun. I hope you have too. I'll be back next week, Wednesday with Tom, Thursday with Harry, and then Thursday here on my channel. So three streams next week. And maybe, maybe some weekend streams. I've got a brand deal that might be happening, which you can come and hang out and check out. It should be fun. So, yeah, give me a follow, and you'll see when that's happening. Bye.